हेलो पीपल वेलकम बैक द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2004 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर वन मार्क द स्टेटमेंट सेज इन अ एस आर लैच मेड बाय क्रॉस कपलिंग टू नैंड गेट्स इफ बोथ एस एंड आर आर जीरो देन इट विल रिजल्ट इन ओके सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू एंड क्यू बार इफ बोथ द इनपुट्स आर जीरो दीज आर द फोर ऑप्शन गिवन लेट अस सी वॉट विल हैपन If this is zero, this one is also zero. You can see this NAND gate will output one because even if one of the inputs of a NAND gate is zero, the output is surely one. Here also, even if one of the inputs of NAND gate is zero, the output will surely be one. Okay. See, I am writing the truth table for a NAND gate. in these three cases even if one of the inputs is zero the output is going to be one so you can see q and q bar are one one that means option c is your answer okay now students generally remember the standard sr latch they ignore this uh, this fact that it is made by using two nand gates only they remember the truth table of standard sr latch Zero zero in standard SR latch results to Q n. That means the next state will be same as current state. Then they say current state is not given in the question, so we cannot answer this question because current state is not mentioned. Okay, but let's go slow. Let's just understand what is happening. This one is the standard SR latch, but they are not talking about this latch. They are saying. these two inverter gates they are not used we are only taking this much part okay what effect will it have if i remove these two inverter gates what will happen let us see first thing is s and r will be reversed this is s this one will become r this is r this one will become s why c If you want to reset this latch, reset this latch means if you want the output to be zero. Okay. For Q to be zero, we will give this input zero one. That means we want to reset it. Okay. If R is one, output will be zero because R one means reset. What is actually happening? Value of S is zero. Value of R is one. This zero will actually become one, and this one will actually become zero. Okay, if you are giving the input zero one, zero one, that becomes one zero. So if one is kept here, it actually goes here. Okay, if you are trying to keep R is equal to one, this input becomes one. Okay, so if you remove these inverter gates, for giving this input zero one. we actually need to give 1 0 okay so this r must be here this s must be here that's the reason i am writing r and s in a reversed fashion okay these two will be taken care of by reversing r and s what about this input when both of them are 0 0 when both of them are 0 0 you can see the output that these and water gates will give is 1 1 okay so if s and r are 0 0 both of them will be 1 1 that means in such a sr latch these outputs will be reversed okay let me just draw this table once again look on 0 1 and 1 0 the output is going to remain same because we have reversed these okay when r is equal to 1 that means we want to reset it the output is going to be zero that is reset state if s is 1 the output is going to be 1 that means set state also we wanted to set the output s is equal to 1 now on this input this will be the output okay on 0 0 latch will go to invalid state you can also say it from here if this is zero output is going to be one if this is zero output is going to be one 
दैट मीन इन वैलिड स्टेट ओके एंड ऑन दिस इनपुट वन वन द लैच विल गो टू प्रीवियस और द करंट स्टेट ओके ऑन वन वन द नेक्स्ट आउटपुट विच इज क्यू एन प्लस वन विल रिमेन सेम एज द करंट आउटपुट ओके क्यू एन दिस इज लैच स्टेट नाउ सी वेन एवर द इनपुट आर जीरो जीरो दैट मीन्स दिस केस वॉट एक्चुअली दिस पार्ट इज गेटिंग इज वन वन दैट मीन्स दिस स्टेट ओके ऑन दिस इनपुट एक्चुअल इनपुट दैट इज गिवन टू दिस पार्ट इज वन वन दैट्स द रीजन दीज टू आर रिवर्सड ओके यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हेयर ऑल्सो ऑन जीरो जीरो वी गॉट वन वन दैट इज अन वैलिड ओके वन मोर पॉइंट आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस दिस इवन इफ यू डोंट keep this thing into mind you just start the question directly you can still notice all of these things say you don't know which one is s and which one is r you just blindly start the question by taking it one and uh, by taking this one zero and this one one now we want to find which one of these is s which and which one of these is r see one of the inputs is zero that means output of this gate will be one okay now this one will reach as the input to this gate 1 nand 1 will be zero okay so we get a zero here what is this state q is 1 q bar or q complement is zero q is 1 the output is 1 means the latch is set okay so this is set that means set is 1 and reset is zero we are in this state okay here also you can see 1 0 but the thing is s input has to be 1 we are keeping this input 1 that means it will be s and the other input will be r okay i hope you are getting so that's all about this question answer is option c yeah one more mistake that students make they confuse between these two options they think option d which is indeterminate state means 1 1 no when the output is 1 and 1 that is actually invalid state okay because q and q complement cannot be 1 at the same time so that's the reason we term it as invalid and invalid this is different from indeterminate indeterminate is when the answer cannot be determined suppose these values keep on changing continuously 0101010 something keeps on happening and this circuit doesn't stabilize ever that state will be called as indeterminate state but here when the values are 0 0 we can easily determine the output output is 1 1 the thing is such output is considered to be invalid okay so answer is invalid state or option c 1 1 okay